a lot of people are blaming social media for enabling this mom, but I disagree. Listen, we're all on social media, narcissists, people with mental illness, criminals. It doesn't mean it's creating them. I think it's just showcasing their symptoms. Nikki, you're nodding yes. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. I do not blame this on social media. I blame this on someone that is truly medically ill. She needs help. And it, it's sad to me that, you know what, Facebook has really become diarrhea of the mouth of your diary, if you will. Hey, I <laughs> yeah. walk the dog. Di hey, I'm diarrhea eating right now. Diarrhea of the diary. <laughs> you know what I mean? It truly has. Yeah. And it's sad to me that people have recognized her erratic behavioral patterns and didn't really step up to the plate, you know, to notify someone saying, you know, this is a serious issue. And sadly, we lost a child in all of this. It's very devastating. And Lonnie, if the, indeed the mom did have volitional contribution to this kid's death, once again, we're hearing a story of signs on social media that people ignored. Right. Over and over again, not just on social media, but she was constantly taking this young child into the hospital 23 times during his first year of life, supposedly. And over and over again, you see that the hospital officials saw that there was something wrong here, and yet nobody really seemed to follow up and kept putting this little child in danger, leaving it with the mother. All right, I want to bring in pathologist Dr. Bill Lloyd. Vanessa, I'll get your opinion in just a second, but i, I got to try to make sense of this. Dr. Lloyd, I, I still don't know what this chronic GI condition, so-called, this kid had, that he required a feeding tube in his abdomen. They had to put a tube into his abdomen that the mother then allegedly used to put high levels of salt in, causing something called hypernatremia, which can cause the brain to swell. It's a characterization of factitious illness, factitious illness, where you could be phony and have make-believe symptoms to confuse the doctors, or real symptoms and signs, but they're fabricated. And in this case, the mother uh, consciously gave the child salt through that feeding tube to raise the, the sodium levels so high that he developed seizures, cerebral hemorrhages, hemorrhages in his brain, and leading to his death. Uh, Vanessa, I, I, I still have trouble believing that, isn't it possible, is anybody's head, is it, is it possible, again, as always, I'm, I'm sort of, if somebody's really doing evil stuff, I, I have trouble digesting it, isn't it possible this kid has some sort of salt-wasting syndrome, un, previously un, undiagnosed by the doctors, and the mom in desperation was giving him high salt fluids? I, I don't believe so. It's just too extreme for it to be something that the doctors just happened to miss over and over. I mean, he went to the hospital 23 times. There's, it's really hard to miss something 23 times, and I know no one wants to blame social media, but we're sitting here saying that all the signs were there, and when you have a disease, like they're saying she may have had Munchausen syndrome, you can't be on social networking because your whole disease is about attention and, and seeking people's love and adoration and feeling sorry for you. So when you're on Facebook and you're getting all these likes and you're on Instagram and you're getting all these likes and friends and followers, it's feeding this disease. And so we can't excuse what social media means in this situation. Lonnie, is this murder? Yeah, it is. I mean, the way they've charged it is depraved murder, which oh. doesn't require that it's an intentional killing. She didn't have to intend to kill the child. She was just so extremely reckless, that's the standard, that what she did, that she ended up killing her child. And if she was doing this for attention, whatever reason, but she was giving him these levels of deadly salt, saline, that ended up causing his death, that's depraved murder. And Dr. Drew, when the police investigated her home, they found on the computer she was researching yep. the effects of this type of salt in the child. And when they were in the hospital, she sent a friend to go get the feeding bag that had the evidence of the salt in it to destroy it. Thank heavens I, they never gave it to the police. I, 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 yep. I'm speechless. 